Hello, fifth grade. We're going to go ahead and get started on our math lesson for today. You are doing page 279 through 280. And as you notice, I haven't really been doing much of that second page, just more of that first page, but that's okay. And I'm letting you know because that's what matches on your worksheet. Okay. So today we are going on with rounding of decimals. Now, round the rules are the same for rounding decimals as they are for rounding whole numbers okay so first you need to make sure that you figure out which number that you're rounding okay so for instance if we were going to use this number right here right we have a decimal 5.324 and if i said that you need to round to the nearest hundredth you're going to look at which one is the hundredths place and remember we go ahead and we see that number and then we use the next number the determining digit to then round that number so now let's go ahead and review really real quick what our decimal places are so that that way it helps you when it says which one to round to so obviously on this side of the decimal the very first numbers are ones tens and hundreds and then on on this side of the decimal, remember, we don't have a once place, okay? So don't forget, don't have a once place, right? We start with tenths, hundredths, and thousandths, okay? But make sure that you know that that very first number is the tenths place, right? Okay, so if the digit to the right place is uh, of, the of the place being rounded is less than five, then we round down. So remember, our same thing we've always done. 0 to 4 stays the same, 5 to 9 goes up by 1, right? This is the same thing here, even when you're rounding in decimals, okay? It doesn't matter. You've got to use that same saying I've said, 0 to 4 stays the same, 5 to 9 goes up by 1, okay? We're doing the same thing. So if we were to look at this number and we have 5.324, right and we're rounding the two because that's the hundredths place we're using the four now take a look four zero to four stays the same so that means we would round this to 5.32 because all we're doing is eliminating that four right okay right now same thing goes for this next one if we are rounding up okay so if we have 5.783 Okay, but it says rounds to the nearest tenth. I want you to look that that's the first number on this side of the decimal place. That's the seven. So the seven is the one we're rounding because it's in the tenths place. We take a look at the eight because that's the first digit. Don't even worry about the three. The three is behind the eight. We don't need to worry about that three. We need to worry about this eight. Now eight falls in between five to nine, goes up by one. That means we would end up rounding the seven up to an eight and we would get 5.8, okay? Rounding is the same thing as what you guys have been doing. Just because it has a decimal doesn't make anything different. You just got to make sure you're finding which numbers are the same, that you're rounding, okay? So if I were to give you the number 6.38 and I said round to the nearest tenth, Remember, here's the tenth place. This is my determining digit, okay? Then I would say that's between five and nine. This would be 6.4 because I'm rounding up that three, right? Okay, let me give you another one. 6.32, and I say round to the nearest tenth. That's the number. That's my determining digit, right? So two is between zero and four stays the same. That means my three stays the same. I round it to 6.3, okay? How are we feeling about that? Now, let's take a look at something a little unique. What if I don't have this whole number in front here? Well, what happens? Uh, nothing, it's the same, okay? So if I have 0.356, and I say round to the nearest hundredth, where's my hundredth place? Five, right? Which number do I use? I'm going to use the six. Six goes between five and nine, round up by one. I then keep my three because that's not the number that I was rounding. I'm rounding the five in the hundredths place. That is going to round up because my six rounded it up by one. I then get 0.36. 
So that would be 36 hundredths, okay? Now let's try another one, 0.498. Also, round the hundredths, which one's in the hundredths place? The nine, what's my determining digit? The eight, I take a look. Eight's between five and nine, goes up by one. I keep my four, I keep my decimal and my four. I am rounding the nine. Wait a minute. Yep, I know, you guys are catching me. I know, I'm being goofy. But guess what? That four is going to round up because this nine needed to round up to a 10. But I can't just write a 10, can I? No, I've got to round up that next number because I have to add that one, right? So that means this would be 50 because this rounds this nine to a 10. That brings that one over here, right? So that would be like saying it like that, right? I would add that up and I would get my 50. Remember how this works? Okay, rounding up. So you guys are going to be rounding decimals today. You are doing numbers one and two. I also want you to do number three, which is divide and check with decimals. It is adding the decimal place. Remember the same problems that we did yesterday, okay? Let me go over one more with you. Remember, if I have four goes into 30, right? I have four goes into 30 how many times? Seven times. Seven times four is 28. I subtract, I get a two. I don't want that a remainder, so I want to annex a zero, meaning I add my decimal place and my zero.